G'day guys, hope you're having a great day so far. What we're doing today is I found myself with a spare hour or so, so we're going out thrifting. Uh, I thought we'd do a quick thrift trip today and uh, head out and see what we can find. So we're right outside the first stop at the moment. So why don't we just get straight into it and hopefully find some goodies to sell on eBay. First find of the day, we got the Mitchell and Ness Tag Seattle Sonics sweatshirt. Yeah, we got a bit of Lee Cooper there. Used to pick that up, but not anymore. Just sits way too long. Next, we got a heap of kappa. All right, guys, that's not too bad of a start at all. Just in case you didn't see them properly, because it was the tags and the ladies were having an argument in the background. We got three of these kappa shirts here. They're only three bucks a pop, but especially if you have the two ladies on the arms, uh, they are an excellent sports shirt to get into. Kappa's an awesome brand. Used to sell really, really well for me, but definitely the steal of the day. It was this brand new sweater here. It's the Seattle Sonics on a Mitchell and Ness tag. So that should be pretty good there. Probably about, you know, 30 bucks there, free price. So not too bad at all. I'll do some comps later on, but pretty good start for us. Let's go to the next one. We're here at the next one. Let's go. Here's the new one for me, the Foot Joy Golf Shoes. Unfortunately, the condition just wasn't good enough for me to pull the trigger on the purchase with that one. Got a Tommy Hilfiger Polo here. Unfortunately, they just don't sell that well, especially not for a $9 price point. Next up, Dickies Work Pants. This is an excellent brand to keep an eye out for, guys. I pick these up for seven bucks every day of the week. Lee Cooper, again, six bucks, not for me. We got the Thomas Cook, great brand. I'll pick that one up every day of the week. Then we got the Levi's. Can't go wrong with these, I'll pick these up too. And last up, we got Little Britain. Three bucks a pop, yes please. Woo, well we had a really good run in there guys. I uh, did forget to film this one here, but we got a pair of Oakley board shorts. Oakley's an amazing brand. Only $4 on the price tag there if you can see it. Probably not, but yeah, four dollars. Excellent, excellent buy there. They always sell well for me. I love Oakley. I wear it myself, so if they were my size, I'd probably keep them. But I just want to talk a little bit more about these guys. Ah, uh, Little Britain, first three series, all three of them there, and they're actually all brand new sealed. And looking at the comps, I'll put them on the screen for you if I can. It's around fifty dollars for the three of them, brand new sealed. I paid three bucks a piece, so that is an excellent turnaround. Someone's gonna, yeah. Make us some good money there. So I'm pretty bloody stoked with that. We've got one more to go to before I end up for today. So let's go over there. And this next one, it's my favorite one. I've never gone in there without getting some awesome stuff. So let's hope we can get that up today. Got so carried away in the thrift shops, so I forgot I actually got to get tea tonight. So let's go get some stuff for tacos, eh? All right, fun time's over. Time to get back to business. All right, guys, super excited to get into it. Like I said, I reckon this is probably my favorite one in town, so I'm really hoping we can get into some good stuff. Pretty much going on in the shoes, but what do we got poking out over here? We got some Levi's. After a quick look at them, I wasn't sure at the start if they were genuine, but after having a thorough look, I'm pretty sure they are. So I'm gonna take a pun on it for nine bucks. Let's go. Overall, pretty chuffed with those Levi's, guys. Well, that's all we found in there. Um, yeah, I talked it up and apparently there wasn't much, but we do have one good takeaway out of this. He didn't read that little size tag and because they've got set pricing for everything unless otherwise marked, he only tried to be $3 instead of nine. So, you know, I wasn't gonna correct him. He's the manager, so. I'll take that, and that's a pretty good way to finish off, guys. So if you do like these videos, please leave a like and comment what you'd like to see more of, more tutorials, anything, but just let me know how you got into reselling and if it's something you want to get into, why haven't you got into it yet? Come on, what are you doing? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you being here, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Cheers.